So if you're looking for a really simple, great way to keep everything organized in your life, whether it's for work or school or just personal life, I'm going to show you exactly how to get started using Evernote right now. So first things first, we're just going to head over to Evernote.com. I'll also put a link in the description so you can click on that and head over there. And we're going to get started with the free account. Now, the free account gives you plenty of features to get started with. We're going to start here by clicking on Get Evernote Free. And then it's just going to ask you a few questions to kind of get to know you better. And I'm going to say this is for my productivity. And then you just need to create an account. I'm just going to use my Google account. And then it'll bring you to your dashboard here. And you're just going to click Continue. And what it also did was it started automatically downloading the desktop version for you. And we'll get into that here in just a second. But it's going to ask you a few more questions just to get to know you a little bit better. We're going to do this for work. I want to store and organize info. And then it's going to pop up to allow you to start trying the unlimited benefits. We're just going to continue with the free. You can always upgrade later. It'll bring you into your dashboard here. So the first things we're going to do is we're just going to create a note. So you have an option here just to create a note. You can click on that or you can click on that over here and you just want to add a note. These are notes from a meeting. So like any word processing app, you could just type in the body there. You can add bold, italics, underline. You have all the options through there. And then you can add a title. Just adding a title will help organize everything in the long run. And then over here, you can see once you've created that note, it starts listing out the other notes that you have available to you here. All right, so then we can go over here to note. We can click on create another note. We want to create a to-do list. So we can go to do and then we can click down in the body. And then what I want to do is I want to go up to insert and go task. And now we can create sort of check mark spots. So we can go check email, right? And so you can list off all of these things that you have to do. And then as you finish them, you can just click the check box and it'll cross it out. You can also schedule them to go, well, I want to follow up with Bob tomorrow. So it'll add that as you could organize those that way. So now we could refer back to this as we need to finish tasks. So you could create a task list. And then what we could do is we could go up here and insert a divider. And then maybe we want to rate. So we have sort of our work to do. And then we want our household items here. So then we can just highlight that, make that bold, increase the size. And then again, go up to insert, add tasks. Right, you can now divide up your list that way. Now let's create another note here. And let's say these are web pages that we want to research. You can go down here and you can click insert and you want to create, well, let's say this is YouTube, add a link. So you create links that way. So maybe we want to create another link and say Google. Okay, so you could create like lists of web pages. Create another note here and call this inspiration. And we want to insert some pictures. We add some images here. And then you could just navigate to wherever you have your photos and open them up like that. So you can attach photos in there as well. So you have lots of different forms that you could take your notes and each note is its own separate thing and you can just scroll back through there and go to the different notes. Now let's talk a little bit about tasks. So you can also create tasks. We have a task of balancing the budget. So create the task name, add a description. You can have when you want this to be done today, tomorrow, you can add a custom date or I want this to be done on a monthly but time on the 10th of every month. Click done. And now this will always repeat itself to when that needs to happen. If you have multiple people on your team, you can add different assignees or you can leave it as yourself. I'll say the priority is medium. And then we create that task. And you can see once you create that, it falls into your notes section here, just like everything else. And now this will pop up on your designated date that you scheduled it for every month. And then I know I need to balance the budget. So you can create a number of tasks, whether it's appointments or meetings or calls, and put them all in there that way. We can also create an event. So if you click on that, and we could have this be, be our weekly team meeting. And we're gonna say it goes from today at two till three. 
calendar type and we want to create the event and now we created that event so now that is like a scheduled event on your calendar and again if you have multiple people on your Evernote then you can schedule those all together right now let's talk a little bit about the navigation now that we have a few things in here so you have your home page and you can click on this and it shows all your notes here you also have a scratch pad which you know, is like a post-it note you can just scratch down real quick ideas and sometimes I'll do that just so that I can add those as notes or whatever later. And then it also has some inspiration, some ideas here. You could create a, you know, maybe a reading list or ideas, recipes. So it gives you some, some ideas of how to utilize it the best. So you can go into your home section and kind of check in where you have everything right there. Then you could go back to your notes tab, which is where we are creating the notes. And then you can also see we have the tasks in here but we can click on it this way. So it just shows you the tasks that we created. You could have the files that, that you've added. So it just shows you the files. So this, these are all based on the things that we just created in the notes, but organize them a little bit differently. We also have a calendar view. So we can see we have the team meeting here that's coming up at two. And you can connect your Outlook or your Google account too, which, which will sync between those, which is sort of nice. You can change the view to maybe we want to do a weekly view. And again, you can see up here the tasks that are assigned to certain days or scheduled for certain days. So again, this is all the same information, just sort of packaged differently in different views. Now, one of the real powers of Evernote is sort of how it keeps everything organized. And it uses a system with notebooks. So if you go into your notebook and you see that's everything we created today in this notebook here. But then if you go back to notebooks, we could create a new notebook. And maybe this is just my, your idea journal, or just where you kind of dump all your ideas and you create that. Now, when you go in here, you could create notes just for that journal or just for that notebook and sort of keep things organized that way. Another way of keeping things organized is with the tags. So we could create tags here. Just click on this create new tag button. And let's say we want to have work, create, Let's add another tag called personal create. Let's have a tag called family, right? So you create all the tags that you need in there. And then what you can do is when you're in the notes, so let's just go back to inspiration. Then you can go down here and go add tags. And if you just start typing, it'll bring up like your work. And now that is tagged with work. So now when you go into your tags, and you click on work, that pops up in there. So you can have multiple tags for multiple notes and organize them as granular as you would like. So that's really powerful. Now let's go back to home. Let's open up the web pages note. So now let's say I have a member of my team that I want them to also look at these web pages. We can click up here on the blue share button and we can then just type in an email or their name and be able to send them an invite to this so they can add to this. They will also need an Evernote account, but they can add to the note, respond, check things off, do it that way. Or you could just copy the link and send it to somebody. So that's a really great way of, if you have other people on your team or other family members that you also want to be able to utilize those notes, you can do that in the share option. Now let's talk a little bit about integration and sharing this information. So this is the web interface. And if you remember, it also started downloading the desktop version. So you can install that on your desktop. And then it, as long as you're signed into the same account, it'll sync between whether you're on your desktop or your phone app or on the, the web interface so that all your notes are kept in sync with each other. So if you click on that, then it'll ask you to install. We're just going to say accept. Your web interface will pop up. Just sign into the same account. And then as you can see here on the desktop version, we have all the same notes that were on the web interface. So if I make changes on the desktop, it changes on the web interface. And you can also get the mobile app. So you can take your Evernote with you on the go. So with that, you're up and running with Evernote. I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you in the next video.